Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. between the vessels for common use and the vessels for special use have a parallel in the Old Testament. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. Different believers will have a different eternal status in heaven. Different believers will have a different eternal status in heaven, much the same as they will hold, apparently, um, different rankings in the millennial reign of Christ. The rewards will not all be the same. Their places of prominence will not all eternally be the same. It's not just going to be one big party sitting in a circle. There's going to be a proximity to Jesus. This is what it's essentially talking about. It does not, in its exegetical context, apply to Israel and the church in any primary sense whatsoever. Okay, what it's talking about is exhorting us to go for the higher rewards. Now, in a large house, there are not only gold and silver vessels, but also vessels of wood and earthenware, some to honor and some to dishonor. That's talking about cleaning materials and things like that. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from these things, he'll be a vessel for honor, sanctified, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. Um, we are told, um, for instance, that there are those who have a unique status, the 24 elders being among them. But we're also told things that are wood and earthenware are there for the perishing. The things that are, that are of greater value are not there for the perishing. You can... Look at it from that aspect, the temporal as opposed to the eternal. The complication with that interpretation is the silver. Silver is a precious metal of only temporal value. It, it will tarnish. It's not like gold that will not. It's not the same as gold, which speaks of the ultimate eternal. So while you can make that kind of application between the vessels for honor and dishonor having to do with the temporal and those who are focused on the eternal. You can make that application. The primary meaning cannot be that because of the element of the silver. There will be those who are doorkeepers in the house of the Lord. They will be saved. Now, Paul talks elsewhere um, about those whose works will be burned up. Earthenware vessels made of wood can be burned up. They'll still be saved as by fire, but their works will not follow them. There's a difference between good things and God things. We're saved by the blood of Jesus. There are going to be people in heaven who are saved by the blood of Jesus, but their works aren't going to amount to very much. They were things done in the flesh. They'll be burned up. They will be saved, but as by fire, as opposed to those who have done works that will follow them into eternity. These are compatible <coughs> to the precious minerals, minerals, gold and silver. That is the contextual answer. Uh, almost everything in Scripture in some way relates to Israel, but not in a primary sense. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash.
Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcasts and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.